Okay, how to take shots with uh, the Raynox 250. This is the adapter and that just uh, the small lens just screws into there and you get the magnification and you use this with either a DSLR or a super zoom camera, a bit like the one I have here, which is, and that just springs onto the end of there, which is the Canon SX40. But the real thing is, is how actually do we take macro shots using this? Well, there's so many different ways to do it. There's no right or wrong way. Uh, preference comes into it. Um, many people like to use this at approximately half, uh, halfway down, so about 17, 18 zoom. And I've got this on manual mode. You don't need to do that, but uh, high speed, sh high speed mode for things like insects and that is, is always always good to have. There we've got a, a really really detailed shot there and I think that's a bug. It is a bug. <coughs> if we can um, just go in there. Um, I don't know if you can see that but there's actually a bug on the thing. And you can't see that by the naked eye. It's impossible to see that. So this is what the Rainox really does for you. It is a great bit of kit. Um, I don't use a tripod. Uh, I use a fence or a wall or something like that when I'm doing insects. And I also don't usually use this half business. I, I usually go all the way out to the 35 times zoom. Or whatever camera I'm using. And so we get this. It's something like that. Uh, if I could just there, you can actually see the bug moving around. Yes, yeah, so that's a very very clear shot. But there's a lot of blur on the uh, on the background, and that's what I'm always aiming for. So I'm always aiming for, for example, if this was a fly, you'd be getting the eyes. Um, well, that's the general. We're safe. That bug's going to come in there focus on uh, no it doesn't seem to be it's behind there but it's hiding a little bit anyway this is so you just just move there that's out of focus so we don't need to go in gently and that's where the bug is the bugs actually you can see it just behind there but so that's part of the flow and you're actually getting all this all this blur and things like that, which I love. Um, and that's part of just rocket backwards and forwards. So I'm going to focus there. And it does take a little bit of skill to get this right. But once you do see the hairs on these petals and, and all sorts of things and can really get some some pretty sweet shots going um, a little how to I would say that was probably about 25 times zoom and that really is a, a good shot also um, I'll put these shots in and how, how I've getting them and that um, show you what the difference is and tell you what the zoom is also so thanks for watching